another Friday on the parkway and today I went to Moses Cone Memorial Park. So this is an area that's very popular along the parkway and part of the reason is because there's a lot of hiking trails. So we'll take the one to the flat top fire tower up there in the upper right of the map here. The Rose Bay rhododendrons are still in bloom and the trail takes us underneath the parkway here. So there's a neat little tunnel which makes for a great photo subject. This area is also popular with riders. So you might encounter horses on these trails. There's also a lot of folks that go out here for running. So there's a lot of joggers on these trails as well. Lots of milkweed in these meadows at the start of the trail here. I haven't seen any monarch caterpillars yet this year. I'll keep my eyes open for them. We've got some more fleabane here and Grandfather Mountain in the background kind of disappearing into the haze today. Some yellow composites. I want to say that's probably Coreopsis. Not entirely sure at this distance. But the buds look very much like the Coreopsis buds in my backyard. And some world loose strife here. Queen Anne's lace is in bloom now, or often this is also called wild carrot, and it literally is the wild carrot. So the one that you buy in the grocery store is a domesticated version of this plant. We've still got some fire pinks blooming here among the rhododendrons. So that's Rose Bay rhododendron right there. And here we have the first flowers on that white bergamot. This is also called basil bee balm. So it has white flowers in contrast to the red one that you might be familiar with on the crimson bee balm. The poke milkweed is still in bloom here. So this loves the shade in contrast to the common milkweed which grows out in the open in the full sun. And more yellow composites here. We've got some spiderwort here. And this plant is American Bellflower. So it gets very tall. The flowers don't really look like bells. And I've spied the first jewelweed flower here in bloom. That is obviously the yellow one. Here we've got a nice big example of the mountain angelica. Not yet in bloom. So these will bloom in August. Mountain angelica has these thick stems. Sometimes with a purplish pattern on them. It's very characteristic for this plant. This one's early and already blooming. This is one of the few plants that makes green flowers. Sorry. 
This looks like some kind of Joe Pye weed here. And it's growing right next to a boulder that has some rock tripe growing on it. Normally this looks very dark brown, but after a rain they turn green. We've got some white avens here along the trail. One flower on this one, well two flowers. Most of it has gone to seed already. You gotta watch where you're stepping here so that there's horses on these trails. Here we're leaving the woods and getting into more open meadow type habitat. Again, lots of milkweed here. That's the common milkweed. No caterpillars yet, but I found a milkweed beetle. There are two of them on this plant. Those white flowers there, that is Carolina horse nettle in bloom. This is a very prickly plant. So I'm not sure which Coryopsis species this is. I want to say Landsleaf Coryopsis. And here we've got some Campion in bloom among the grasses. Now that does look like Bladder Campion. Some Black-Eyed Susans. If you're a fan of mountain meadows in bloom, now is the time to go looking for them. Lots of flowers here. You can see how yellow those meadows are back there. That's all flowers in there. We still have an elderberry in bloom here. Here we've got some very dark blue spiderwort in bloom. This is probably the darkest flowers I've seen so far. This tree looks to be a hawthorn based on the thorns on there and it's starting to make fruits. This row of trees up there appears to be all black locust. And Grandfather Mountain back there still in the haze. Lots of yarrow mixed in here. I 
and back into the woods here.